Hey everyone, I'm Craig. And I'm Kim. From Power Mobility. We are the only Australian manufacturer for swimming pool hoists and accessories. Our hoists are specifically designed to be used when a person needs some assistance for the safe entry and exit of swimming pools. And today we are going to show you the operation of our Pelican Twin Arm Hoist and its accessories. Living with a disability is tough enough without the additional challenges due to inaccessibility. Wheelchair consumers or even someone needing assistance should not be restricted by a lack of access to enjoy the benefits of aquatic activities. It's simply not fair if you can't get into the swimming pool and in some cases the Disability Discrimination Act makes it against the law for public places to be inaccessible. The answer is the use of assistive technology like our Pelican Twin Arm Pool Hoist. Ensure the Pelican Arm is pointed in the forward position of the transport wheels. Then tip backwards like a hand trolley and wheel the hoist to the pool deck and place a base plate over the anchor points. Insert one of the eye bolts and then move the base plate sideways until all holes line up. Hand tighten only all six eye bolts and once complete, give each eye bolt one last tighten. Use no tools. The battery is easily quick released and you remove to recharge. It is recommended that the battery cover should remain on the battery housing to avoid damage or weathering. When the handset is activated, the battery display indicator will activate and display the charge status. This is displaying green. So the battery is OK, no need for charging. And this is displaying amber, so the battery needs charging. Here is the battery care chart. The red emergency stop switch can be activated at any time by pressing in, and this will stop all functions. To release the emergency stop switch, press in and twist clockwise. The operation of the handset is to press the up arrow to shift the arm upwards and the down arrow to shift the arm downwards. Then the power rotation to press the left arrow to shift the arm left and the right arrow to shift the arm right. You will also see a service banner which advises the next service should be arranged. This counter can be reset and the service light will be unlit during that service. If there was a failure, there is a secondary manual emergency lower which allows you to wind the plastic collar at the top of the actuator. This only activates on the downward motion. After use, the battery should be placed in the charger to ensure it's fully charged when required. This is the only item that is 240 volts, so most sites will position this in their office away from water. Let's now look at the accessories. First up is the platform. There is no need to lift the platform. For transport to and from storage, push pull using the trolley wheels and use the platform upright as the handle. To attach the platform, line up the Pelican hoist arm with the platform upright using the left right handset buttons. Then use the up handset button to raise the arm. You may need to apply some guided pressure to the platform upright as it aligns through the arm coupling. Stop when the platform upright hook attaches to the arm coupling. Once the platform upright hook attaches to the arm coupling, you can insert the holding rod from one side to the other and then attach the safety pin. This is all a must do for safety. Now it's time to use a platform and we see two differing ways. The first is for a person that is mobile, well balanced, where they use a platform as a means of safe entry and exit without the need of other equipment. Often a person can enter a pool due to momentum, however exit is a challenge as momentum is against them. Given the platform has solid fixings and structural design, there is no swing motion so all movement is through the power rotation and at low speed. Please be aware 
that it is important for operator and user to communicate all is okay and ready to go. You'll note that this video section has been sped up by two times, only for this training session. It's normal for the platform to be lowered to the pool floor. However, if used in a deeper pool, this isn't essential as a person can swim off instead of walking and return accordingly. For safety reasons, it is also normal for the platform to be removed from the pool and positioned back on the pool deck after lowering the person in. If left in the pool, it could cause a hazard for other pool users. It doesn't take much to return the platform into the pool when the person's activities have been completed. The second option is for the person that is not mobile and requires an aquatic chair to assist with their safe entry and exit. Depending on the person's ability, they may transfer into the aquatic chair by using the ceiling hoist in an accessible uh, change room and then travel to poolside. Or they may affect the transfer from wheelchair to the aquatic chair at poolside. It's important to discuss the best options with primarily the person or the person's carer if required, as they would have a normal routine that has been designed around their ability. This is to ensure safety and workability based on their needs. It's also important that the aquatic chair seatbelt and wheel locks are used when poolside and during the entry and exit transfers, again for safety around the pool. It's normal for the platform to be lowered to the pool floor. However, if used in deeper water, this isn't essential as a person may be able to swim off with or without assistance and return accordingly. As mentioned before, the platform has solid fixings and structural design. There is no swing motion, so all movements are through the power rotation and at low speed. You will also notice that Kim has placed her hands on the platform rail. Although this isn't essential, it's another option available if the person's ability allows. The next option is the release adapter, which allows the aquatic chair to be used for safe entry and exit without other equipment. The release adapter is attached using the hook system, like on the platform, and has a hanger bar to enable the aquatic chair straps to be attached. Please note the removal of all accessories is to simply reverse the procedure of attachment that I've shown you throughout this video. I hope you have enjoyed this operation of the Pelican Twin Arm Hoist and Accessory video. Water represents freedom and our goal is to ensure people have a dignified entry and exit to all aquatic environments. From all of us at Paramobility, thank you for watching.